To assist RV owners with general maintenance tips and maximize the performance of their Suburban gas appliances, Suburban is pleased to present the Suburban Water Heater series of instructional videos to properly maintain your appliances. Video 1 Series 1 is titled Anode Rod Function and Replacement. Let's get started. Suburban water heaters are manufactured with porcelain lined steel tanks just like a residential or commercial water heater. Just like these types of water heaters, Suburban uses an anode rod for cathodic protection against corrosion in the water heater tank. Here's a quick science lesson. An anode rod prevents corrosion by having a lower electrochemical potential than the steel tank. Anodes are designed and selected to have a more active voltage than the tank. When the tank is filled with water, current flows from the anode to the cathode or tank through a process called galvanic corrosion. The galvanic corrosion process makes the anode rod corrode instead of the tank. Once the anode material is depleted, the galvanic corrosion process will start to eat away on the tank. How fast the anode self-sacrifices is based on the resistance of the water. All suburban water heaters are manufactured with the magnesium anode rod. The magnesium rod offers suitable protection against corrosion from a broad geographical range of water types. However, some water conditions can consume a magnesium rod in a relatively short period of time, say less than a year. For those types of water conditions, Suburban recommends the use of the optional aluminum anode rod which is less reactive than magnesium, providing a slower consumption rate, thus longer life. To ensure that your water heater is being properly protected, Suburban recommends that you remove and inspect the anode rod at least once annually. The rod should be replaced when it's 75% consumed. Here's how you do it. To remove and replace the anode rod, you will need a ratchet with a 1 and 1 16th socket and extension, a small wire brush, mineral oil, Teflon tape or thread sealant suitable for potable water. Before removing the anode rod, turn off the electrical power supply to the appliance either at the element switch or at the RV circuit breaker. Turn off the appliance's gas heating system controls. Turn off the water supply to the appliance, onboard water pump or city water connection. Release the pressure in the water system by opening both hot and cold water faucets. Caution. Never drain the water heater tank when it is hot or under pressure. Open the exterior door of the water heater to access the anode rod. The anode rod is located on the front of the water heater at the center bottom position. Using the ratchet with the 1 and 16th socket, rotate the anode rod counterclockwise to unthread it from the drain port. Be aware that sometimes it may take extra pressure to remove the anode. Once free, remove the rod to allow the water to drain from the tank. Installing Replacement Anode Rod Clean the drain port spud threads with a small wire brush to remove any sediment deposits or remaining thread sealant. Apply mineral oil to the cleaned drain port threads to prevent corrosion and assist in installing the replacement anode rod. Apply Teflon tape or a thread sealant approved for potable water to the replacement anode rod threads. Start threading the replacement anode rod into the drain port clockwise by hand to ensure that it is properly threaded. Using the ratchet with the 1 and 1 16th socket, continue rotating the anode rod clockwise into the drain port until it is secure. Refill the water heater and inspect for leaks. Correct as necessary. Annual inspections of your anode rod along with proper maintenance can add years of life to your water heater. By following these simple steps, you can properly maintain your RV water heater, which should extend the life of the water heater. This concludes Video 1 Series 1 of the Suburban Water Heater Series.